Nine players who surprisingly never won the Champions League. Ronaldo. Ronaldo is probably wishing that the Portuguese kid had just used a different name before embarking on a career of glory. Now the Brazilian superstar has been relegated to the fat Ronaldo. Now while it's true the former Barcelona striker has love handles that won't quit, he was so much more than that, as 15 World Cup goals will testify. However, despite winning two World Cups and playing for the biggest clubs in Europe, he never did lift the Champions League. Jose Basingua did though, twice. Just let that sink in. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Zlatan Ibrahimovic seems to be a man on a mission to win the Champions League. Since 2004, he's moved clubs six times and failed to do so everywhere he's been. You'd have to feel he shortchanged himself in 2009 swapping Inter Milan for Barcelona. Inter predictably went and won it without him the next season. The following summer, he signed for AC Milan, and predictably, Barcelona immediately went and got their hands on it in his absence. Pavel Nedved, one of the finest midfielders of his era. It seems astonishing that Pavel Nedved never got his hands on the European Cup. Named in the UEFA Team of the Year three times, and winning the Ballon d'Or in 2003, back before it became the plaything of Ronaldo and Messi, he finished Champions League runner-up in 2003, with AC Milan besting Juventus on penalties at Old Trafford. Although he was forced to watch it from the stands after picking up a semi-final booking against Real Madrid. Patrick Vieira. Patrick Vieira was a man who spent nine years at Arsenal, so perhaps it's no great surprise that he didn't have much European success. The powerful Frenchman exited Highbury for Juventus the summer before the Gunners trip to the final and was relegated that season as part of the Calciopoli scandal instead. A stint at Inter Milan followed, but he left for Man City six months before Jose Mourinho guided them to an unprecedented treble. So quite unlucky Patrick. Francesco Totti. When Marcus Rashford was born, Francesco Totti had already played over 100 games for Roma. Does anyone else feel old? The Italian is part of the furniture at the Stadio Olimpico and it's got to be strange when he's no longer there next season. The five-time Serie A Italian Footballer of the Year may be worshipped at the club, but he's only ever lifted one league title during his 25 years there and never even come close to a European Cup. Robert Lewandowski. Ironically, the closest Robert Lewandowski came to winning the Champions League was at the expense of his current employers. After soaring to the final in 2013, with his four goal salvo knocking out Real Madrid in the semis, Borussia Dortmund narrowly lost 2-1 to Bayern Munich at Wembley. One year later and he was pulling on the red of Bayern, as the Bavarians continued their policy of hoovering up all the talent around them. Who needs scouts when you can just go to Dortmund, huh? He has scored over 100 goals for the club since, but they have yet to reappear in the final. Ruud van Nistelrooy. Ruud van Nistelrooy can consider himself quite unfortunate in that his prolific spell at Old Trafford was almost bookended by two European Cups. Arriving two years after the 1999 treble, van Nistelrooy stormed off to Real Madrid in a huff in 2006, two years prior to John Terry's slip in Moscow. For a man of such predatory prowess, to never play in a Champions League, European Championship or World Cup final is criminal. Fabio Cannavaro. Former Ballon d'Or winner Fabio Cannavaro has amassed over 130 caps and won a World Cup, but has yet never won a Champions League. Despite playing for Inter Milan, Juventus and Real Madrid, the man never even took part in a final. Lilian Thuram. Lilian Thuram is another defender considered one of the finest of his generation. You'd like to think so, considering he's the most capped French player with 142. However, with Monaco, Parma, Juventus and Barcelona on a CV, surprisingly he never did lift the Champions League. A beaten finalist in 2002, three and signing for the Catalans weeks after their triumph in Paris, the former World Cup winner ended his career before he could emulate Jimmy Traore. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.